told you it wasn't mine. Right, this just appeared in your pocket. Man, I don't know how I got that. This ain't even my pants. Yeah, man, those aren't even his. What, you shop together? You seem to know a lot about his pants. What you know about my pants? Dude, I'm just trying to help you out. Don't. Fine, those aren't his pants. So what you trying to say I can't afford pants like this? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Hey, hey, hey! Listen, I got some advice for you. Shut up. I am so Glad sorry. you could join us. Yes, my something came up. Yeah, with my I don't want to hear about it. I want you to go around the corner. I think they may have ditched something. Go. Sir, it shouldn't happen. Yeah, I got it. And can I have my phone back? No. Chris, come in here a minute. Close the door. Have a seat. Sir, if this is about yesterday, I am so sorry for being late. No, that's not what this is about. Is everything okay? Uh, Becky. <laughs> wanted me to ask you to come to dinner Sunday night. But if you can't make it, I understand. No, I, I, I'm free. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you're sure this was Becky's idea? Oh, I'm completely sure. It was her idea alone. Okay. What's the attire for the evening? The attire? I don't know. Clothes of some sort. And what time? Look, if you can't make it, I understand. No, I'm free. I'm, I'm really free. 6.30? Okay. Okay. If you can't make it, it's no big deal. <laughs> hey, it's me. I don't have anywhere else to go. All right, all right, all right. Hey, just look, man. Just please. Just talk to him for me. Please. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Let me know, okay? Thanks, bro.
I love your patio. Thank you. Hey. You almost look like a woman. <laughs> Gary, <laughs> that is not a compliment. <laughs> no, I meant she dresses like a man. I mean, like a, <laughs> never mind. I didn't have you pegged as a cook. He doesn't cook very often, so we take what we can get. Hey, when has anyone ever complained about my cooking? Actually... Don't answer that. <laughs> Tell Katie we're almost ready. Uh, she went out with some friends tonight, but she said she's sorry to miss your cooking. I bet. So, Chris, mm -hmm. tell me about yourself. Oh, um, what do you want to know? <gasps> How did you end up on the East Bank Police Force? Did you grow up around here? Oh, no, I'm from all over, really. Uh, we're a military family. My dad was in the Army. So we moved quite a bit. Well, that sounds exciting. So how did you land in Texas? Um, my dad, he's a, he had trouble adjusting to civilian life. So um, my mom and he split when I was 15. And my mom had family here, so we moved. But then she had to go to Virginia to take care of my grandmother. And my brother joined the Army. But now he's back, living with me, and so we're still getting settled. You want cheese melted on the burrs? It's really good. Whatever the chef recommends. Definitely melted, and save one for Katie. She can warm it up when she gets home. So do you do side work to afford this place? Because I know the city doesn't pay this well. No, no. You're sitting next to the big money maker. I do some seasonal accounting work. Nothing big. Well, it is beautiful out here. Hey, babe, I just got a message saying that rent's past due. You paid it, didn't you? Yeah, of course I paid it. I just don't understand why this keeps happening. You sure you paid it? Yeah, Lindsay, I'm sure I paid it. Okay, could you not give me five minutes to catch my breath? I just got home. Is everything okay? Hey, Munchkins. Who are you supposed to be? He's a superhero, Daddy. Woo! Well, if you're the superhero, then I'm the monster! <laughs> that works every time. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a rough day. You don't have to apologize. I understand. I just need you to tell me how I can help. Betty, come on! Rise and shine, East Bank. It's a perfect Texas morning. When did Katie get in? She decided to stay with her friend for the night, said she'd be home this morning. Oh, well, it's morning. Where is she? I'm giving her space. If she's not home by 10, I will call and check. Don't worry about it. Just go to work. Love you. Love you, too. Hi. Hi. Yeah, this is the third time I've been transferred. Um, I'm just looking to get some basic information on someone. Yes, but I'm a detective with the East Bank, Texas Police Department. No, I don't have a warrant. No, there's not an active investigation. I'm just trying to see if I can get access to that information without having to... 
Yes, I will hold. Hey, sweetie, it's mom. It's four o'clock and you still have not responded to my text messages, so I'm just calling to check on you. I hope you had a good time last night. I, th I think I know what's going on. And I just, I'm praying that you, you don't make any hasty decisions. I'm your mom. And I'd love to talk to you about anything. Anything that's going on in your life right now. So please call me. I love you. Later, Chris. Everything okay? Yeah, I just, I, I had a late night. Work stuff? Uh, not all of it. Where'd all your knickknacks go? Oh, Sergeant Tallman said and said they didn't look professional. Can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. Does your personal life ever get in the way of you doing your job? For me, it's usually the other way around. And how do you balance things? Something going on. Just, you just know how the beat goes? Just wanted to hear your thoughts. I'll see you tomorrow. Night. Okay. I think it's time to do something and bring her home. She's been messaging me. She tells me where she is and what she's doing. Is it believable? It is. Or maybe she, though. Maybe she's got us both fooled. Maybe she didn't come home because she needed her parents. Maybe she came home because she needed a place to stay. It's more than that. Pills? 
their prenatal vitamins. You think she's pregnant? No. No, no, no. This, this could be her friends. It's more than just the pills. Your, your appetite. She's been sleeping in the middle of the day. She gets nauseous. Have you noticed? Yeah. I mean, some things. She didn't take these with her when she left. Why would someone start taking prenatal vitamins and then stop? Text her, ask her about it. I'm afraid to. If I do, maybe she won't, she won't come back home. Has she seen a doctor? I don't know. But she, she needs to see a doctor. Gary, I know that. Talking your sleep. Sorry. I'm fine. Do you want me to get your medicine? Doesn't help. I just need some fresh air. You go back to sleep. Is there a problem, officer? Don't play games with me. Does your wife know? Why? Why put your whole family at risk just to get a fix? It's the only thing that takes the edge off. Helps me forget. Forget what? I did three tours in the Middle East. 11 Bravo. Things I saw. Messes with your head. 
you're never the same no matter no matter how hard you try I know I know what combat can do to a person my brother's battling it right now he's not the person I remember And it's killing me. But he's getting help. And that's what you should be doing. So now what? Did you take him in? Have you asked for help? I can't lose my job. You wouldn't lose your job if you came clean. No one would hold this against you. My family. They'd be so disappointed in me if they knew. I want you to call this number. It's completely anonymous. If not for yourself, then do it for them. I'm serious. I will. I'm gonna have to take that. Thank you. Thank you. Chris Tanner. Yes, sir. I'll be right there. Take a seat. I had an email sent to me by the chief this morning asking about an open investigation into a uh, Matthew Thomas. You know anything about that? Well. Uh let me help you out. Apparently, the State Department called the chief. They wanted some details on Mr. Thomas's criminal activities that has something to do with his veteran benefit status. Is this ringing a bell at all? Yes, and I was gonna- yeah, Do you know how this made me look? How it made our whole team look? When I can't answer the chief's simple little question about what my people are doing? Sir, I was following what I thought was a lead, and it turned out to be nothing. And there's no report in the system. I didn't think that until I had something worth documenting oh. that I... You gonna help me out here? Are you on break? What's up? That's not the way we do things here. Okay, we have protocols for a reason. You ever heard of CYA? When my people don't follow protocol, you know who takes the heat? I do. It's my tail gets chewed off, not yours. I recognize that, sir. But what if protocol gets in the way of helping people? <laughs> I'm gonna have a heart attack here. Did you teach her this stuff? Helping people? You're a law enforcement officer, not a therapist. Tanner, what would you like me to tell the chief? Is there an open investigation or not? No, there's not. It's my mistake. It was her mistake. I gotta go clean up this mess. She's your trainee, Travis. Hope you handle it any way you want.
put that back on. We're going somewhere. Come with me. Let's go. ground beef, shredded chicken, mixed up with all their seasoning, and then they melt the cheese. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Just one big lump of... Mmm. Jalapenos and lock. Sour cream. What are we doing here? This place I found a few years ago. Came here trying to cool down after Bill unloaded on me. Something stupid. Been coming here ever since. Am I suspended? What? What about Sergeant Tomlinson? Bill? Oh, Bill is all bark. He just wants you to know who's in charge. Look, <laughs> he'll forget about it by Monday. Tell me. Why didn't you arrest him? He didn't do anything wrong. So those weren't narcotics you took off him last night? You were there? I... He doesn't need jail. He needs help. Yeah, right. Yeah. Most addicts are victims. They're not criminals. <laughs> Addicts are tricky. I caught one red-handed once. Thought I'd show her a good dose of reality. Turned out I just pushed her deeper into her problem. Look. You followed your convictions. Can't fault you for that. You're doing good. Thanks. I guess I will have one of those. You know? Yeah. What's it called? It's my treat. I invented it. It's not on the menu. I call it the Bill Buster. Because you know it's going to give you heartburn, but at the end of the day, it's all good. Especially with extra cheese. I'll take it. From Katie? No. I think she's lying to me now. Trying to avoid us. How was your day? Huh. That bad, huh? What if I go with you on Sunday morning? You want to go to church with me? <laughs> I don't know. I just thought we could go as a couple. Go to church. You know, I can survive a couple hours of anything. Why now? I don't know. I've just been thinking about Katie, how I've Handled her in the past, her addiction, lies. I don't know, I think maybe if I wasn't so harsh on her, maybe she'd be here, maybe she wouldn't run away. Hey, you did what you thought was best. And I was wrong. Don't 
be so hard on yourself? She made her own decisions. You're still her daddy. She still loves you. Mrs. Travis.